Hello guys, welcome to Amit Thinks. In this video, we will learn how to install the current NetBeans version on Windows 10. For NetBeans, we need Java. So under step 1, we will download and install the current Java version. Then under step 2, we will install NetBeans. Let's start. We will first download and install the current Java version. At first, go to the web browser. On Google, type Oracle Java and press enter. Click on the official website that is oracle.com slash java. Here in directly click download java. Now the current version is visible here. Okay. 22.0.1. So this includes JRE also. Okay. Click on the windows tab we want for windows and the installer. So the following file. Click on the file. This will download your exe file. Here it is installer file. Let's wait. We have downloaded the exe file. Right click and click open to begin the installation. Minimize. The installation started. Click next. Java will get installed in the following location. Click next. And it will install now. We have installed Java. Click close. Now go to the path. C drive. It was in program files if you remember. Okay. Java. JDK. Bin. So this path we want. Including bin. Right click and copy. Minimize. Go to start. Type environment variables. Click on edit the system environment variables. Click open. Under advanced click environment variables. Okay, under system variables. Double click on path. Click new. Right click and paste the same path. Bin path. Click OK. OK and the last OK. Now go to start type CMD. Click open. Now command prompt will open. Type the command java space hyphen hyphen version and press enter. Here it is java 22.0.1. This shows that we successfully installed java. So guys we successfully installed the current java version. With that we also verified the installation. Now let us install NetBeans. Go to the web browser. I am using Chrome. You can use any web browser. On Google, type NetBeans and press enter. The official website is visible. Click on it. That means netbeans.apache.org. Here is the current version NetBeans 22. Click download. Here are the files. We want the exe file for 64 bit Windows operating system. Click on it. These are the mirrors. Click on the first one exe file. It will download now. We have downloaded the exe file. Right click and click open to begin the installation. Minimize. So here is the installer. It will install the base ID Java NetBeans for HTML, NetBeans for PHP. Okay, keep it as it is, no problem. We will install all of them. The installation size is 990 MB. Click next. Accept the terms, click next. Now, the NetBeans 22 will get installed in the following location. It automatically took our Java installation. You can see here, I told you for NetBeans we need Java. So, it automatically detected an added the JDK exact path. Okay, click next. Summary, it will also check for updates. No problem, click install. Now NetBeans will get installed.
we have successfully installed NetBeans. Click Finish. Now you can see the desktop shortcut also. You can directly double click. So we opened NetBeans for the first time. We can directly create a project from here or go to File, click New Project. Let us create a Java project quickly. Okay, click on Java with Maven, Java application and click Next. Now let us add the name. Let's say I'll add Amit application. The location of the project is the following. You can also add the package name, but I'll keep it as it is. Let's say click finish. Here it is. I told you our package will be the following. Okay. We kept it the default and therefore it is visible here. We could have also changed it. Okay. The class name is Amit application. Okay. We did a flaw here with the spelling. It should be I U N. That's not a problem. We will print something. I'll just remove it and mention my name here. So the print again method is used to print anything. Whatever we will add inside it will get printed. Okay. So you can directly click run here or you can right click and click and click run file. Let's see whether there is an error or not. Here it is. We successfully printed whatever we added Amit Divan. Here it is. Okay. So in this way guys, we can easily install the current NetBeans version and run our first Java project. Thank you for watching the video.